Coming up, the critical results from last night. Who stays and who goes is up to you. And the last of our top 40 acts battle it out to stay in the competition. Buckle up, America. It's one nation, one winner. It's America's Got Talent. <laughs> The competition heated up as 10 more acts performed live for your votes. It's not good enough. He just blew it spectacularly. You are fantastic. Follow your dreams. Paul Salem! America, land of dreams. Superstars! Half of the top 20 have already been chosen to fight for the biggest prize in entertainment history. And tonight, we reveal who will be joining them from the Texas State Strutters. If we don't make it to the next round, we'll be heartbroken. Michael Strelo Smith. No matter what the judges say, I just want this so much. Bruce Block. Pierce upsets me. I deserve to be seen again. Shaquita. My dream has always been to perform in Vegas. This would mean so much. Cobble family. As a family, we can't let go of this dream, and we want it more than ever now. Jonathan Birkin. After years of getting picked on, now is my time. Sarah Lenore. I've always wanted a chance to perform in Vegas. I hope I get it. Six Step. Winning this competition and getting a chance to perform in Vegas, that's our dream. Matthew Piazzi. Last night, I came out swinging. I gave it everything I got, and I hope it's enough. And Joseph Hall. I just want a chance to perform in Vegas. This is my moment, and I'm not going home. Then the battle continues as the last 10 acts perform live on stage. Whose life will you change tonight? The talent starts now. this Wednesday night with the biggest talent search in history. For whomever wins, life will never be the same again. They'll take the prestigious title Best New Act in America, they'll win $1 million, and they'll be a headline act in Las Vegas. The journey to superstardom continues right here. Now, last night, the judges got pretty brutal. Buzzing five acts. Will it be the same tonight? There could be chaos, there could be controversy. Let's meet the three people who will decide. Piers Morgan. Sharon Osbourne. And of course, the Hawk, David Hasselhoff. So, we've got the talent. We've got the exes. The toughest judge of all, our audience. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. Now, Pierce, in fairness, Pierce, you buzzed half the axe last night. Do you think you were a little bit too tough? No, I think watching it back last night, I was quite regretful, actually. I should have buzzed at least two more. <laughs> Cheryl. I was feeling generous. Sharon, uh, we heard some pretty harsh comments uh, last night. What are you looking for tonight? Listen, you know, I realized after watching the show back last night, this is serious now. We're down to our last few. No more Mrs. Nice Woman anymore. <laughs> this is serious, and we are looking for a superstar. You got it. Okay, and David? 
David, your vote, yeah. your vote, send Beyond Belief Dance Company home. How difficult a decision was that? It was very, very difficult, but you know what? Only one can go through, and they're so good. I know they'll be back next year. Okay, let's hope. Well, thank you, David, and thank you, judges. All right, let's get started. Last night, 10 acts performed. Right now, we're going to find out which five are staying in the competition and which five are heading home. Now, the first four to go through have been chosen by you, the American public. The fifth spot in the next round will be decided by our judges. This is a huge moment for all the acts. So please welcome back last night's contestants. of their performances and some of the backstage reaction. It's just not professional enough and not interesting enough for to sustain a whole show. We just hope what we did was good enough for America to vote us through. I am what I am. What I am. It all screamed one word to me, karaoke. You came out here and did a damn good job. Whatever the judges say, it makes me more determined and stronger. No! You did the oldest trick in the book. You just blew it spectacularly. They wanted something bigger. They wanted something original. I gave them that. You're like a one-man, one-woman party. <laughs> <laughs> what I did tonight was fun, it was crazy, and that's Vegas. It was all looking very grim tonight till you lot came on. You saved the show tonight. We did it. <laughs> Incredible. Incredible. You are probably the best baton twirler in the world. Yeah. I feel like I nailed it, and I think tomorrow's going to be real interesting. Your daddy should be really proud of you tonight. It was the greatest experience of my life so far. You guys are sick! This gracious guide blows a fire! The moment you went to that piano, this audience went dead. I thought I did a good job, and I hope that America feels the same. Somehow you've lost that little bit of naughtiness that you had. Where is it? I need it back. And don't let go of this dream. You're halfway there. Now that I've been on the stage, I want this more than anything now. Ten all-new performances coming up in a moment. But first, the results. The waiting is over. Five acts will make it into the top 20. Five will be leaving the competition tonight. Now, unfortunately, Bruce Block who performed on last night's show, well, he cannot be here tonight due to illness. But I can now reveal that America voted, and Bruce Block will be leaving the competition tonight. But Bruce, we wish you well. Okay, so there are five places still remaining in the top 20. Let's see who's going through. The first acts to step forward are Texas State Strutters and Jonathan Birkin. One of you is safe. One of you is going home. America has voted. The act going into the top 20 and moving one step closer to that million dollar prize is... Thank you.
so much for being with us. The next acts to step forward are Shaquita and Sarah Lenore. One of you is safe. One of you is going home. America has voted. The next stack, going into the top 20 and moving one step closer to that million dollar prize is... Sarah Lenore! The next two acts to step forward are Matthew Piazzi and Joseph Hall. America has voted. The act going into the top 20 and moving one step closer to that million dollar prize is... Joseph Hall! We have three acts remaining. Please step forward. The Talbot family, Michael Strelo Smith, and Six Step. Okay, we have two top 20 places left. One is voted by the viewers, and one chosen by the judges. America has decided based on your votes. The next act, going into the top 20 and moving one step closer to that million dollar prize is... The Tobo Family! Okay. All right, four racks, four racks are through. Jonathan Birkin, Sarah Lenore, Joseph Hall, and the Torbo family. We now have two acts left, but there's only one more place in the top 20. Michael Strelo Smith and Six Step. These two acts, these two acts came fifth and sixth in the public vote. But I'm not telling you who came fifth and who came sixth. As always, the fifth and final spot in the next round will be decided by the judges. Only one of these acts will go through. Now, judges, please take a moment to uh, consider your decision. Uh, Michael, do you, do you feel confident? What I know I feel confident about is I gave the performance of my life last night. And no matter what happens, my life is moving on. And I could not be more excited to be here. Good luck to you. Six step. Nervous? Very nervous. But we know that we put our heart on this stage. So hopefully it showed in our performance. There you go. OK. Good luck to both of you. Judges, I'm going to ask you one by one for the name of the act you are going to say. Now, whichever act gets picked by at least two of you goes through. Piers, we're going to start with you. Who are you going to save? Well, I believe that um, I believe we should judge this over the whole competition, not just last night. That would be fair. And see who I think has the potential to go through to the final, potentially. I think, Michael, your problem is probably that you're half as good as you think you are. And I think what I liked about six, well, I think a bit of, a bit of humility goes a long way in show business. And what I like about these guys is that they've shown humility and they've shown dedication and they've shown a willingness to listen and to work hard. And for that reason, I'm going to vote for six then. That's one vote for six step. Sharon, your vote. If you vote for six step, 
they're going through. If you vote for Michael, the decision will be David's. Go ahead. Okay. Two totally different acts. They bring, you know, totally different things to this show. Um, the guys here, I think, I, I love their vibe. I love their determination, their youth. Michael, you've got a dream. You've got a huge dream. They, everyone here has a dream. And I think I'm going to have to go with six steps. Yeah! Congratulations, guys. Congratulations. Great job. Okay. Let's hear it for all. So now, so now we know 15 of our top 20. Coming up, the battle for those last five places. The pressure is on and anything could happen. Here's who's coming up. The Dallas Desperados Dancers. We're here to win this. We want that biggest show and we want that million dollars. Brian Cheatham. This is my time and this is my chance right now. Flambeau. I want to be in Las Vegas. I want my biggest show. Caitlin Mayer. I just can't wait to get out doing the same tonight. Dore Saunders. Performing in Vegas is a lifelong dream for me. Donald Braswell. America's given me a second chance. I'm not just doing this for myself. I'm doing this one for my country. Indigo. America is the land of dreams, so we have come here to make our dream come true. Tapping Dads. We're not just doing this for ourselves. We are doing this for our daughter, and that's a serious responsibility. We are not going to let them down. Eli Matson. This is all I want to do. Absolutely ready for this. And nothing but springs. This is the biggest moment of our life. There's too many people depending on us, and there's too much we got to prove. talent and 10 acts are fighting for the last five places in the next round in the next tuesday we're going to find out who's done enough to keep their dream alive it all depends on our fourth judge which of course is you now first up tonight an act that includes students a nutritionist a marketing manager and a mom but they all share one thing a passion for football and for dance they're the dallas desperados dancers <laughs> the Dallas Desperados Dancers. Yeah. I'm moving to Dallas. You girls are going to go to the semifinal. Since we were little girls, we've been working towards something like this. And now that we're here, we want it more than ever. We have school, we have jobs, some of us even have children. We sacrifice a lot to be the best that we can be. We are very fierce competitors. Off the stage, we're friendly Texas girls, but on the stage, we're strictly business. I love these girls. They're hot. But tonight, they got a sizzle. Tonight, we're doing something completely out of the box for us. And it's a risk that we're willing to take to make it to the next level. We're here to win this. We want that show in Vegas, and we want the million dollars.
OK, girls, um, what I liked about you in the earlier rounds was that you had tremendous energy and dynamism. You were real cheerleading rock chicks. I wasn't feeling that tonight. I've got to be honest with you. I... Let's get it out of the way early, shall we? I wasn't feeling it tonight. I thought you were overcomplicating things. I thought you were thinking about it too much. I thought the arm flapping ballet style stuff that was going on isn't you. It wasn't you. And I think for that reason, you're in trouble tonight. You could be going home. Sorry. Thank you, Pierce. All right, girls. Um, you, you are all, you know, fantastically fit, great dancers, but it's not good enough. It's great for half time. It would be great if you were dancers behind Justin Timberlake in Vegas, but you are not going to get a headlining act doing what you do in Vegas. That's why I buzzed you. You know what, I, I agree with Pierce. I think you guys lost a little bit of your edge tonight. I let you guys go through because I know you work so hard and you put so much into it and you got this far. And that's damn good, you know? Thank you, David. But you missed a little bit of your edge tonight and I missed a little bit of the precision that I saw the last time. But congratulations on getting this far, okay? Thank you. All right, and keep smiling. Thank you. When you heard when you hear the buzzes going off in the middle of your routine, does it j jostle you? Does it? It just made me want to push even harder. I know <laughs> that I just wanted to keep going strong until the end of the routine. I got to tell you, the people that are going to your games, they're watching you as much as the guys on the field. So good luck to you. All right? Here you go. Sure. So are you desperate to see the Desperados in the top 20? Well, if so, call one 866 60 AGT 01. That's 1 866 602 4801. Or vote online at NBC.com. But do not do anything until I tell you to at the end of the show. Because if you vote now, it's not going to count. Let's hear it for the Dallas Desperado Dancers. Tonight, some dancing dads, the queen of rock and roll, and a Chippendale only on America's Got Tank. Do not go away. Welcome back to America's Got Talent. Now we have 10 acts trying to make it into the next round, but can they do enough to impress you and the judges? Next to rise to the challenge is an ex-Chippendales dancer who's returning to his first love, singing. He's Brian Cheatham. For a living, I'm a Chippendales dancer. You got great potential. Darling, I think I love you. You're going through. My whole life, I felt in my heart that this is what I was supposed to do performing in Las Vegas in my own show. That's my dream. For nearly seven years, I've been a Chippendale dancer. But my mom and dad didn't like the fact that I was a Chippendale. They never came to see me sing. That's one of the main reasons why I am so excited to be here, is to look out in the audience and see my mom and dad smiling. The guy's been a Chippendale for seven years. Can he get past that now and be a credible singing star? I'm not sure. I quit my job because I feel like I'm worth more than that. This is my time, this is my chance right now. And I'm going to give you the performance of my life.
Okay, Brian. Brian. Yes, sir. Look, I like you. You're a nice guy, and you've come a long way in this competition. That was miles better than the first time we saw you. No question of that. But reality time. This is a million-dollar competition. Yeah. You said in your video clip before you performed that your dream was to be a headline act in Vegas. The reality, I've got to tell you, after that performance, is you are more likely to be a headline act on a cruise ship. I'm here to prove you wrong. Okay. <laughs> okay. I like cruises. I'm sure you do, but it's not your bloody chance to speak. Anyway, um... Brian, darling. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Oh, God. Okay. You, <laughs> you've got to cut the cheese. You've got to cut the winking, the singing out the side of your mouth, using all those cliche, sexy, slapping your chest moves. Your soul. Use your soul. You're not using it. You're using all the upper body cheese crap. Cut the crap, and you would be really, really good. You've got a good voice. Cut the crap, and you'd be good. Okay? Listen. Why wouldn't your parents come see you at Chippendales? Well, it doesn't matter. They're right here, right all now. Right. That's all that matters. All right. I love you guys. You know what? Very much. Sharon's right. Man, you got, you got the charisma, you know? In the very beginning, you know, I wanted you to just lay back and bring us to you because you got it all. But the second half, you nailed it. Thank you me. nailed it for me, Thank you me. know? So if you get voted back, if you get voted back and you come back, you know, remember that first, that Teddy Pendergrass charisma, because you got it, you know? And, and be confident in the beginning. Bring us to you, but in the end, in the second half, you know, you were really on it for me. Good Thank job. You. Very well. You heard the judges, but you made your parents proud, didn't you? I did, and I'm gonna continue to do that, Jerry. You go for it. Go for it. All right. So, is Brian your everything? If he is, you have to vote for him. Call 1-866-60-AGT-02. That's 1-866-602-4802. But only at the end of the show. Or you can vote online at NBC.com. Let's hear it for Brian Cheatham. Coming up, the heat is on as an urban fire artist burns up the stage. We're going to be right back. <laughs> Welcome back. This is America's Got Talent. For the ultimate winner, there's the ultimate prize. One million dollars and a headline spot in Las Vegas joining the greatest stars in show business. Up next, an act who was once known as the God of Fire. Today, he is Flambeau. What's your name? My name is Flambeau. No! I'm gonna say yes. Yes! We are gonna offer you a place in our semi-final. Thank you so much. When I came to America, I basically didn't have a home whatsoever. I lived on the streets of the cities. A common night would revolve around the fire barrel because that's how we kept ourselves warm. And then I realized fire was the thing that I wanted. And soon I would start to play with the fire and do beautiful things with it for the homeless people. Since then, I've taken my fire all over America, but still, I want my Vegas show. This guy's amazing, but what he's doing, it could kill him. It's as simple as that. Tonight, I'm going to be trying something new. And it does make me nervous. If I get the timing wrong, that's where the potential for bodily harm or death comes in. Everything has led to this moment. I intend to put on the best fire show that America has ever seen. From New York, please welcome Flambeau! I never said it was easy, and I never said that I liked it. But when you get chosen, there's just no points to fight it!
Okay, Flambeau. I think the uh, accurate American descriptive word for you is whacked. Um, okay. You're whacked. You're mad. You're nutty. You do your thing. It's it's exciting. It's okay. dangerous. All those things. The problem with it is, like tonight, it, would look, it looked like we'd stumbled into a weird druid glen, and there was this mad guy in the middle setting fire to himself and everybody else, and it was all just very, very strange. And I think for your safety sure. and our safety, it's time to put an end to this flambeau. I'm sorry. <laughs> end of the road, I think. All right. Flambo. I think you just flambeed your flambeau, but anyway. <laughs> had to, had to do that. Anyway, um, the timing was non existent. It took you forever to get to the point. I mean, it was like boring already. And the lady who sings and dances a bit, she should be flambeau because she sings and dances and sets herself on fire. She's great, she's great. She's she is great. great. I'm very confused by it, although, oh dear. Um, <laughs> No, it wasn't <laughs> happening for me, Flambeau. Anyway, go on, David. Hi. I know you had some technical problems, right? With your microphone. Yes, with the mic, definitely. Yeah, but you know that the whole point is kind of bringing the audience into Vegas. I think you would scare them away. <sighs> um, it's, you know, it's kind of S&M and gothic and kind of great for maybe a one-off thing, but I don't know. I like to show that I have different sides to what I do. Definitely that is a yeah. part of what I have and like, you know, well, I like it, to use it as a it's tool. It's entertaining, but it's a little too scary, you know. <laughs> Good job. Do they, does the audience just not get it or? No, I think that the audience and the judges, if they, what they see, if, if, if they like it, that's good with me. If they don't, it might not be their thing, but I feel like I can like, take the different types of expression I have and use them well. Okay, well, good luck to you. All right. Hey, if you want to see Flambeau fire his way to the top 20, call 1-866-60-AGT-03. That's 1-866-60. 602-4803. Or you can vote online at NBC.com. But the lines won't be open till the end of the show. So stay right where you are. Let's hear it for Flumbo! Next up, a contestant who's up way past her bedtime. It's perfect. We'll be right back. Welcome back to America's Got Talent. Our next act, well, you know, most of our acts have spent years perfecting their skills. But our next contestant, well, she hasn't had time. She's only four years old. She's Caitlin Mayer. Are you from New York? I'm from America. Good girl. My vote is yes. It's definitely a yes. I like Mr. Pierce, Miss Sharon, and Mr. David because they brought me to Hollywood. I hope they like my singing. We put Caitlin through to the top 40 because she deserves to be there. She may be only four years old, but she is unique, she's confident, and she's talented. I like to do swimming, dancing, ballet, but singing is my favorite thing to do in the whole, whole wide world. Each time we've seen Caitlin, she's proved herself, but tonight, going live, it's an even bigger test for her. When I'm on stage singing, I feel like a big princess. From Ashburn, Virginia, please welcome Caitlin Mayer!
Caitlin, Caitlin, how are you? How are you feeling after that? Good. You feel good? Yes. You think you sang well? Yes. I tell you, you look like a princess tonight. Thank you. <laughs> now you know we have these buzzers, don't you? Yes. Do you think if I'd buzzed you, I think they would have run me out of town? I'd have been sent back to Britain, don't you think? Yes. Well. <laughs> You know the reason I wasn't going to buzz you, Caitlin? Because a lot of people say a little girl of your age shouldn't be in this show or shouldn't be on the stage. You have more charm, more star quality, more professionalism than almost all the other acts I've seen. You're incredible. You deserve to be here. Thank you. What have you got to say about that, Caitlin? Good. <laughs> Do you agree? Yes. Thank oh, yes. You. Yes. <laughs> Caitlin, I don't know what to say because you carried the tune again perfectly. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> Your timing was perfect. Really, really well done. Thank you. Maybe next time. Maybe next time. You know, I'd like to see you move your arms around a bit. You know, a little bit more movement would be fabulous next Thank time. You. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so I'll look forward to you coming back and doing some more movement Thank for you. me. Thank you. <laughs> Kaylin, you should run for president. <laughs> you know what you do? You know what you do? A four-year-old girl, you bring the world together. You bring us all together. We all just feel great when you come out here. And you know what? This might be the first time in the history of the show that we have a four-year-old in the finals. Thank you. Congratulations. Great job, Caitlin. You know, I, I don't know, I don't know that I'm gonna make it to heaven, but when I think about it, I think all the angels there are gonna look like you. They really are. You are precious. Thank you. If you want to make it a wonderful world for Caitlin, call 1-866-60-AGT-04. That's 1-866-60-4804. Or vote online at NBC.com. But please don't vote until I tell you to at the end of the show. Ladies and gentlemen, if you've got a heart, Caitlin May. Great. All right, next tonight, the great Tina Turner unleashes a disco classic. We'll be right back. Welcome back. This is America's Got Talent, and we are live here with 10 of the country's best new acts, hoping you'll vote them into our top 20. Now, we're going to find out who makes it next Tuesday. But right now, get ready for a living legend. It's Tina Turner, brought to you live by Doray Saunders. Hello, my name is Doray Saunders. Rolling, rolling, rolling. I love you. You're gonna have to go to Los Angeles. This journey has been long and perilous. Friends of mine were like, you have beautiful legs, you're a dancer, you should do Tina Turner. I started studying who she was. Those high heel black stilettos, your famous fishnets, and that blood red lipstick. She is an icon. Performing in Vegas is a lifelong dream for me. And now is my time. Right now. Dore is great to put the pressure's really on tonight because she's got to impress all of America. When I walk out on that stage, I take all her energy in and I turn it into a big ball of fire that I unleash onto the crowd. Tonight, I am taking Tina to a whole new life. From 
Columbia, South Carolina, please welcome Doray Saunders. <laughs> First of all, first of all, let me say you look fabulous this evening. And that was undeniably great fun, and I salute you for that. Here is my problem. We've had a lot of tribute acts in this competition this year, and the only one that's made it to the next round is a guy who did the Sinatra impersonation. But the difference between him and you is that he dressed like Sinatra, he looked and sounded like him, but he sang like him. And I don't think it's fair to put you through to the same category as a guy who sings like his hero. And I think for that reason, well, for that reason, that's why I think for you, great fun, but end of the road. I'm sorry. Piers? Yeah. The only thing that I'd like to say to you, in all fairness, a lot of actresses have lip synced. Angela Bassett lip synced to What's Love Got to Do With It? Yeah. Audrey Hepburn, My Fair Lady. Um, Dorothy Dandridge, Halle Berry. My thing to you is I told you from my heart, I'm an actress, I'm a dancer. Oh, it didn't say you had to sing. Yes, it said you, you had to have talent. Don't and this is a talent. <laughs> okay. Let me tell you. Let me well, tell you. Oh, told me. Right. Yes, Piers is right. Our other gentleman, the Frank Sinatra tribute acts sensational he is but you are sensational too you, do you know what you have got such a great personality you light up the stage light up my life i love you i love you yes. and you know what i don't care if you're not singing because you've right. just got it missus you've just got it That's you know right. superstar thank you sharon osborne That's right. i love you thank you in America, can a transsexual play live to 20 million people? What's that got to And do with pull it off! You did great! Now, whether it's good enough to sustain an entire act in Vegas, I'm not sure. Okay, that's the only problem. But you did a great job, and you got this far, and you did fantastic tonight. Congratulations. See you, David. Thank you so much. All right. Congratulations. If you think Doreen is simply the best, well, you got to go and vote for her. Call 1-866-60-AGT-05. That's 1-866-602-4805. Or vote online at NBC.com. But please wait until I give you the word. Let's hear it for Doreen Saunders. Your wild card pick. Don't you 
dare move from that chair. Welcome back to America's Got Talent. Up next, the singer given the biggest second chance in America thanks to you. He's your wild card. He's Donald Braswell. My name is Donald Braswell. You raised me up. You came back after 11 years and inspired everybody in this room. You're not going to send you to the semifinals. When they told me no in Vegas, I thought, well, that's it. I'm never going to sing again. I wanted my girls to see me. When I got home, they just wrapped their, their love around me and said, if you don't get to have a career in singing, it's OK, because, you know, we love you. And But anyway, I'm sorry. Gosh, Donald. Donald Braswell. When Jerry announced my name as the wild card winner, it was so far, except for the birth of my children, the biggest moment of my life. The American public have voted for this guy once now. He's got to prove to all of them that they were right. I'm here because America voted for me, and I'm not going to let them down. From San Antonio, Texas, it's Donald Braswell! I bet you never, ever in your wildest dreams thought you'd be standing on that stage right now. I did not. <laughs> I did not. How does it feel? It's the most wonderful feeling in the world, and I, I owe it all to everyone out there. Well, you know, America, America took a big punt on you because we said no as the judges. And the Americans said yes. And after that performance, America was absolutely right to say yes. Thank you, Pierce. You've got, you've got great charm. You've got great humility, which I really like in a performer like you. You've got that special something about you that people like. And you've got a great chance now. Thank you. Thank you. OK. Donald, Donald, Donald. Right. Donald, um, you sang beautifully tonight. Robert Goulet made that song famous. Yes, ma'am. And 
I wonder, is there still room for somebody like um, Robert Goulet in this industry today? Because it's that fine line between, you know, what's in right now, the pop opera. Yes, you know, that's very in. You don't fall in that category. You're very much musical theater. Um, great voice. I don't know with what you do is relevant today. But anyway, I just want to say to you, lighten up, smile, enjoy it. Yes, ma'am. I don't Thanks. see you enjoying it. I need to see that from you. Okay. But very well done. Thank you. Lighten up. Lighten Thank up. You. We all felt really bad when we voted you off. We really did, <laughs> man. It was very difficult. If you look at the tape, look at our faces. I felt much worse. Ah, uh, yeah. I <laughs> <laughs> but you know, isn't life a wonderful thing yes, when sir. you get a second chance and you come back and you know what? That's a hell of a hard song. Yes, sir. And you nailed it, man. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, phenomenal. Your dream is not impossible. So if you want to make Donald's dream come true, call 1 866 60 AGT 06. That's one 4806 at the end of the show. Or you can vote online at NBC.com. Come on, let's hear it for Donald Roswell! Wow! Woo. After the break, things get raunchy as a dynamic duo sings for your vote. We'll be right back. Welcome back to America's Got Talent. Up next, a couple of sisters proving that girl power is alive and kicking. Look out, America, here come Indigo. Hey, we are Indigo. Oh. Indigo, New York. Yes. You're going through to the semifinal. We are like lovely demons with angelic faces. And we hate vulgarity. Yes. At our first audition, David called us vampires. They want you to suck the blood from Dracula. We don't want to go back to Bucharest. I said it before and I'll say it again. They're like Dracula's girlfriends. We will take care of him. These girls are crazy. We are going to go all the way to the final. Tonight, we're going to perform Georgie Clooney, an original song, and I think the jury and the audience will love it because we've got all the weapons. It's either going to be fabulous or it's going to be disaster. Get ready for double trouble. From New York, it's Indigo!
Okay. Ladies, I think, I think I speak for the whole of America when I say that the sooner you are shipped back to Romania, the better. I, we need you guys, and you need us, because we have something to share, something very powerful, the talent, our no, talent. No, no, allow me. And we are actors. Maybe you didn't listen to the song. No, no, but... I listened to the song very carefully. Let me explain something to you two. You are the worst dancers and the worst singers in the entire competition. Then come and dance with me, baby. I'd really rather not, thank you. Um, anyway, girls, well, moving right you. along. Come over here, Show, baby. Stop baby. it. Oh, Behave yourselves. We've suffered enough. Behave already. yourselves, Indigo. What's worse is there's bloody two of you. Not enough is not one. We've got <laughs> two. Anyway, listen to me. Listen to me, you're darlings. Anyway, but the song. Where did you get that awful song? What was it? Where did you it find it? It was written it? by uh, the number one uh, producer from. Uh, it's from his where? His name is Dieter Bolland. Dieter Where's Bolland? he from? Germany. Germany. Oh He's well, no Germany. wonder it's bloody German. Oh, oh dear. Oh, 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 oh anyway, no, anyway, anyway. We all oh, yes, know I do. German taste in music. Oh, right. Now, don't anyway. We? Um, you're like a guilty pleasure for... to me. You're a guilty pleasure. It's like I can't stop watching you, even though I don't want to. So, um, anyway, David, darling. I like watching you. Thank you. Thank you. It's a cute song. I don't think you'll make it to the finals, but I like it's watching you. It's a parody. You. It's a parody song. It was a very cute song, and you did Thank a you. lovely job. Thank you. Thank, thank you. We love having you in America, whatever they Thank say. You, yes, we love amazing. having you here. So you want to see Indigo steaming up the top 20? Then vote. Call 1-866-60-AGT-07. That's 1-866-602-4807. Or vote online at NBC.com. Let's hear it for Indigo! Some dancing dads who have been rehearsing so hard since Vegas week. I gotta tell you, they've lost 500 pounds. We'll be right back. Welcome back to America's Got Talent. Up next, a bunch of ordinary working guys risking their careers for their families. They're the tapping dads. <laughs> We're the Tappan Dads from Temecula, California. America needs to see the dads. Dad! You're going to have to go to Los Angeles. Ah! We're basically like every dad in America. We work too hard, and it's very hard to spend time with our daughters. Tapping Dads was formed so we could do that. It's fun dancing with my dad because I get to give him hugs and stuff. This means everything to us. What started out as a hobby, now has become our passion because we're in this to win this. Pierce has been extremely tough on us. It was just complete chaos, <laughs> chaps, I'm afraid. It's a talent competition, and these guys do not have the talent to go any further. Do not underestimate this group of dads. We will do whatever it takes to win this competition. We Well, girls, 
Rubbing elbows, come let's mix The Rockefellers walk with sticks And umbrellas in their midst Putting on the rest If you're blue and you don't know where to go to Why don't you go where fashion sits? Different girls upon a bed Be your pie price Come down and let me all miss it That's where me Okay, a bit of quiet, please. Gentlemen, would you like me, in all honesty, do you want me to judge you as good dads or as dancers? As dancers. Okay, well, you asked for it. Um, <laughs> judging you purely on the dancing and in the context of a million dollar talent competition in the final stages, I honestly think that if Fred Astaire could watch that, he'd turn in his grave. You make talent. up for. Shut up! <laughs> you make up for in heart, and I love you. You're brilliant. Thank you, Sharon. Thank you. I find you wildly entertaining, and you did a great job tonight. <laughs> We are dancing as fast as we can every day of our lives. Go dance! 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 If you want to see the tapping dance, dance their way to the top 20. Call 1 866 68 08. That's 1 866 608 Or you can go online at NBC.com. But do nothing until I tell you. Let's hear it for. for yet well hang on we got two more acts still to come with powerful singing and hot hot playing this is unbelievable stay right there <laughs> welcome back to america's got talent and up next tonight is a singer and piano player who says he only truly comes alive when he's performing he's eli matson what is your name sir my name's Eli Matson. I was walking in Memphis. Yes. 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 See you in Vegas. This is your song. But I'm proud to tell you, you're going through to the next round. Yeah. I can barely believe this is really happening. <laughs> well, I've been waiting for this my whole life. This is all I want to do. What's good about this guy is he's real. He's got heart, he's got dedication, and he's paid his dues. I've played some small bars, often empty bars, and now I get to go from that to actually singing for the whole country, and they'll, they'll, they'll decide my fate. 
It's the most humbling and overwhelming experience to go through this. And every day I look at the stars and really just say thanks. Eli's got a really distinctive voice. I just hope that he sticks to what he's really good at tonight. Tonight I'm gonna go out there and sing my song and it'll be out to America if they like it or not. And I hope they really enjoy it because I don't, I don't want to stop doing this ever. From Door County, Wisconsin, here is Eli Matson. Good to be home. This is a sweet song. I pretend that I'm glad you went away. And these four walls close more every day, and I'm dying inside. And nobody knows it me. Clown, I'll put on a show. The pain is real, even if nobody knows. And I'm crying inside. Nobody knows it but me. Why couldn't I say the things I needed to say? How could I let my angel get away? Now my world's just a tumbling down. I can see it so clearly, but there's no one around. Life's alone in the days of sad. And I keep thinking about the love that we had, and I'm missing you. And nobody knows it me. And I'm missing you. And nobody knows it me. One word for you, sensational. Eli, Eli, no dancers, no fire, no backing tracks, just talent. Pure and simple, just your voice, the piano, that's all you need, a star. You know, it is so refreshing with all these crazy acts on this show to see someone like you on this show with class, man. You know what? I got two words for you. Top ten, baby. <laughs> Top ten. Thank you, sir. When you finish that song and you listen to the judges and the people all get to their feet, do you want to bottle that moment? Um, now I'm gonna drink it up and do it again. <laughs> so, do you want to see Eli make it into the top 20? Well, if you do, you gotta vote. Call 1 866 60 AGT 09. That's 1 866 602 4809. Or you can vote online at NBC.com, but not yet. I'll, I'll tell you when. Make some noise for Eli. A couple of musical brothers from New York give it everything they've got. And we open up the phone lines. We're going to be right back. Welcome back to America's Got Talent. We are live here in Los Angeles. Now, we're down to our last act tonight. And get ready to throw out everything you thought you knew about the violin. All thanks to nothing but strings. What's the name of your group? Nothing but strings. Say absolutely yes. You're going through to the semi-finals. <laughs> <laughs>
to do something I love with the person that I love to death is the most amazing feeling anybody could ever have. With family, we started playing music on the subways. You know, we're from South Jamaica, Queens. It was rough. My mom's our hero, especially holding down a job and going to school and raising us. If we win that million dollars, the first thing that I'll do is buy a house for my mother. The only question for these boys is this. Have we seen their best? There was a lot of teachers that we were growing up with that told us that we weren't going to amount to nothing. And you know, we just looked them in the eye and just told them that you're wrong. You know, we're here now. This is the biggest moment of our life. We cannot lose. It's now or nothing. From Queens, New York, it's nothing but strings. Thank you. Thank you. Quiet, please. Guys. OK. For emotion, for intensity, for professionalism, for commanding the stage, for electricity, you guys are my favourite act in the competition. I appreciate Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You rocked it tonight. Brilliant. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Trembling. Thank you. Guys, I tell you, the tone that you get from your instruments is so sensational. It's just the most perfect tone I've ever heard from any violin player Thank ever. Thank you very much, Thank you. I have to tell you, Thank the you crossover, it's you. the crossover classical rock, yeah. hip hop, raw it's talent. sensational. Raw, yeah. appreciate raw you. Talent. Thank you very much. And you know what you also do? You also move us with your music. Yeah. I mean, you can. You can make us rock, you can make us dance, you can make us feel. Man, just keep it coming. Keep it coming. Bigger, better, bigger, better. One round down, more to go. All right, Julia Rocks. Definitely. All right. Great job, guys. So if you want to see nothing but strings go through to the top 20, then vote for them. Call 1-866-60-AGT-10. That's 1-866-602. Four eight one zero, or you can vote online at NBC.com. But I only want to tell you. So let's hear it for nothing but strings. What a fantastic show! Ten hours all hoping you'll vote them through to the next round. Now, here's a reminder of all tonight's performances, along with the crucial voting information.
sing I could have let my angel get away Now my world's just uh, tumbling down I can see it so clearly but there's no one around You know, this has been a great night. I got the best job in America. I get to stand with all this wonderful talent, you wonderful people, and this beautiful young girl, Caitlin. I love you, Caitlin. The lines are open now, and they'll be open for two hours. Remember to dial 1-866. These are not 800 numbers. Calls are toll free, and you can vote up to 10 times on your phone and your computer. Keep voting. Our contestants are depending on you, America. This is their dream. Give them a shot. Give them the time of day, and they'll entertain you for the rest of their lives. And what a night we have had here. Let's hear it for our judges. And tonight's contestants. Keep voting. We're going to be back next Tuesday. We'll have the results from tonight's show. And the battle for the top ten will begin. That's at 8, 7 Central. I'm Jerry Springer. Thanks for watching. Good night, I love you, America!